Part two of my Git slash GitHub for Poets series. In this video, I want to talk about a concept called branching or branches. What is a branch? Why would you use a branch? How does it work? What's all this stuff called branching? So we've already, to my first video, we talked about what is a repository and what is a commit. So now I want to talk about a branch. OK, so the first thing that I did in my first video is I wrote, I had this file called rainbow txt. So I have this repository and really actually I shouldn't, I shouldn't refer to the file because this, this idea of a tree or a branch has to do with the entire repository, not a specific file. So I had a repository called rainbow poem. And I could think of the history of the, the history of this project as a linear list of times that I hit save. A commit, a commit, and a commit. So remember, there were these moments that I hit commit where there, a particular change happened. And each one of those commits has that unique identifier. And you can see how it's just this linear list. But what if I had this idea one day that I had this experimental thing that I wanted to add to my poem. And I wasn't really sure if I wanted to keep it. So I'm going to think of this as an experimental try. And I want to branch off. So I could have a branch. I want to have an experiment where my poem is also going to be about a unicorn. So this, by the way, this particular branch, we can think of by default as master. So when you create a GitHub repository, this main linear list of commits, this history is on the master branch, almost the root of your tree, so to speak. By default, it's named master, although you really can change the names and do whatever you want. So you might continue to work on that poem and make further commits along master while making some commits along another branch. And you know what? There could be a branch also called uh, unicorns. And um, what's something else that goes with <laughs> rainbows and unicorns? Fairies? I don't know. I don't know where I'm, where I'm, where I'm going with this. But, and that could have its own branches. And that could branch. So you can have this crazy set of experimental all sorts. Of, you could have lots of people creating different branches and working on different aspects of the same document. So, but I'm going to keep things simple for right now and just show you I have a master branch. And I want to branch off to try an experiment called unicorn. And let's see what happens when I do that and how we can start to do things like merge, bring changes back and forth between the branches. OK, so let me come over here. And I'm back again in my GitHub repository called Rainbow Poem. If you recall, there's just one text file called Rainbow. And there's my poem. Pretty pathetic, but it's the best I could do right now. So what I want to do is right here, you can see that I'm currently looking at the state of my poem on the master branch. So what I want to do is find, now you can see here that I don't have any other branches. So what I want to do is I'm going to type in unicorn. And you can see by default, it's giving me an option to create the branch unicorn. If the branch unicorn already existed, it would be giving me the option of switching to that branch. So I'm going to create that branch. And you can see now, look at this. I'm on branch unicorn. So what I'm going to do now is hit edit. And I'm going to call it the rainbow um, and the unicorn. Purple, pink, orange, blue, green, unicorn. Yellow, red, these are the colors of the rainbow and the unicorn. <laughs> My poetry skills leave a lot to be desired. So now I'm going to hit commit. Now notice, look at this. Commit directly to the unicorn branch. I'm on the unicorn branch right now. By the way, this other option might make sense for you now. Create a new branch for this commit. So anytime you're making a save, GitHub actually gives you the option of just making it as a new branch, which can be something that you want to do. Um, but I'll get to that. Why you, why you might want to do that, I'll get to that later. But right now, I want to commit to the unicorn branch. So I'm going to hit commit changes. And now you can see I'm on the unicorn branch. And I've got the version of the poem. Now, if I were to switch back to master, you can see that the version of the poem does not have the unicorn involved. And now if I go back and switch to unicorn, it now does. Now, this is kind of similar. It's a little bit trickier. It's kind of similar to just the history of commits, right? And it is really the same thing, right? Just like switching back and forth between commits, oh, I'm seeing the previous state or the next state. But branching is really making a more substantive, a substantial commitment to the idea of a separate path, right? We have the history kind of just in case. 
But now, if I really know I want to have two possibilities going on at the same time, I really want, and I really want to have a separate branch. So the question becomes now, let's now diagram what we've actually done. We had commit, 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 and now branch. So master and unicorn. What happens if I decide this experiment was a good idea and I want to bring it back into master? Let's take a look back at what I mean by that. So over here, one thing we can actually see, by the way, is that I can go to um, back to the main page of the repository. I'm looking for uh, up here. I'm looking for a button that says graphs. One of the graph options is to visualize your, your tree and branches. So if I go and click on graphs, the one that I want to look at is network. So I want to click on network right now. And we can see here, look at this. You can see here, these are the changes I made. And then I branched off, and I have this unicorn change. So master has not gone forward since unicorn. By the way, notice this one patch one green. Somebody else watching this video has decided, a username on GitHub named B8 Horpet has decided to make their own branch. And potentially, they could contribute the changes back to my particular branch. But let's, we're going to get to that in a future video. But you can see this full diagram. So let's say what I want to do is have Unicorn go back into master. This now brings up a new term. Uh, adding to our list something called a pull request and a merge. Oh boy. Suddenly we added so much just in this one video. So pushing and pulling are, are important terms in GitHub. Pushing kind of being like sending something to somebody. Pulling being pulling something in from somebody. In some ways, they're almost interchangeable. Actually, I'm going to save that for a later topic a bit more. But what I want to do, essentially, is by unicorn branch says, hey, will you please, the request is the key term here, will you please take my changes and pull them into master? So what I want to do, I'm the same person, so I'm really just making a request to myself. Later, you'll see how we could be two different people. But what I'm doing here right now, if I go back to the main page. Look at this. It's actually GitHub is saying, look at this. You, oh, 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 I'm in the wrong place. GitHub is saying, look at this unicorn branch. I can press this button, compare and pull request, meaning I want what I just did in unicorn to go back into the main branch. So I'm going to click that button. And I'm going to say, hey, I added some unicorns. So now I'm making a pull request, meaning a request to merge those changes I made in the unicorn branch back to the master branch. And I'm going to say, hey, I made some unicorns. Uh, I made some unicorns. And I could write information about it. I'm going to do create pull request. And there it is. Now, what did it do? It actually created some uh, an, 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 um, a thing called a pull request. And what is a pull request? A pull request, again, is saying, take some changes from a particular branch and bring them into another branch. And one thing that it's doing is it's GitHub, Git automatically behind the scenes and GitHub for you is looking to say like, oh, there's no conflicts. I can see what was changed here. I can see what was changed here. And I can bring those changes together, no problem. And Git is actually quite smart about this. You really only ever run into an issue if you're editing the same exact line in a file. But two different branches could edit different lines and merge those together very easily. So all I have to do now is complete this by clicking the Merge Pull Request button. And I could say confirm that merge. And then suddenly, if I go back to graphs under network, you can see, oh, you can see that happen now. I have to hit refresh. You can see that unicorn was merged back into master. So the unicorn branch is now somewhat irrelevant in that its changes were merged back in. Let's try to do something a little bit kooky. And let's make some changes in both master and in another branch and see if those can be merged. And that's really going to kind of wrap up the end of this particular video tutorial. OK, so I'm going to go back to my poem. And I'm in master right now. And oh, I'm going to make a branch. I'm going to call it, um, uh, <laughs> so I'm going to call it, uh, um, ah, I can't think of anything all of a sudden. Um, I'm going to call it um, ponies. It's kind of like unicorns. Whoops, branch, uh, ponies. I don't even know if that's how you spell ponies. 
and I'm going to say, and the unicorn and the pony, and I'm going to say a uh, pony, and then I'm going to commit that and adding ponies, I'm going to commit that, and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to master, and I'm going to edit it, and I'm just going to add another color, yellow, purple, green, pink, orange, blue, uh, indigo, I'm going to add that, adding indigo, I did it in a completely different part of the poem. Now I'm going to go to the graphs and I'm going to look at the network. And you can see here, look, Unicorn had some changes, went back in. Ponies had some changes, but then Master went ahead. Can I merge those two? They're in completely different states. Let's give it a try. So I go back to here. I'm going to compare and pull request. No problem. Able to merge. Create pull request. Merge pull request. Confirm merge, I'm just doing this quickly, and let's go back and look at that network again. And we can see, here's what it looks like now. So you can see how Git and GitHub is very powerful for working on multiple instances. Mul the, you know, the, these branches could actually be different people doing different things, trying out different experiments. This is an exciting set of possibilities that as I continue to show you more and more, uh, hopefully will set the foundation for doing interesting things and collaborating with other people on GitHub. So, if you're looking for something to try now, you have your poem, try making lots of different branches, try edit, making commits in one branch, making commits in another branch, making commits in master, see if you can do some pull requests, see if you can do some merging, see what happens, see where you go wrong, ask your questions in the comments, and uh, in the next video, mm, I forgot what I'm gonna do, <laughs> but I have a plan. I think I'm probably gonna start looking at how you could actually start to be a different person and two people could collaborate on the same repository, maybe, or something else, you'll see.